Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we're going to talk about encrypted root device volumes. So root device volume is basically just the hard disk that has your operating system on it. Um, so it's that EBS volume that has your operating system on it. And it used to be that you couldn't actually encrypt that when you first provisioned your EC2 instance. And this was always a very popular exam topic because it would ask you how to go in and uh, encrypt it. And what you used to have to do is basically um, provision your EC2 instance instance with uh, an unencrypted root device volume. You then had to take a snapshot. You then had to make a copy of that snapshot. And when you were making that copy, then you could encrypt it. And then basically you provision an AMI from that snapshot, and then you could launch um, encrypted root device volumes. So it was a bit of a process to go through, and that's why it was a, a quite a popular exam topic. Uh, AWS have completely um, changed all this now, uh, and you can provision root device volumes um, immediately when creating an EC2 instance. So we're going to look at how we can do that in this lab. And we're also going to look at um, if you do have unencrypted uh, volumes, how you can go in and encrypt them as well. So this is a lab and you will need to log into the AWS console. Okay, so here I am in the AWS management console. Let's go over to services and we'll go over to EC2. And we'll see in here I've got no running instances. I've just terminated one. I'm going to go ahead and launch an instance. I'm going to use an Amazon Linux 2 AMI. I'm going to use a T2 Micro. I'm going to leave everything as default and go and add my storage. Now in here, this is our root device volume, uh, and you can see that it's on general purpose SSD. And in here, our encryption, this used to never be an option. So you never used to be able to change this. Now you can change this and you can um, go ahead and create an encrypted volume right from the start. Um, so that is an important new feature of EBS. I'm not going to do that for now because I want to show you a, a way of encrypting your volumes if you create a volume that's unencrypted to begin with. Um, so let's go ahead and add our tags and we'll add a tag. We'll just give this a name as um, unencrypted root device volume, something like that. And yes, I did spell encrypted wrong. And so there we go. And we'll go over and add to our security group. So we're going to add this into our web DMZ security group. Go ahead and hit review and launch, and I'm going to go ahead and launch that. Now we're not going to log into this or do anything uh, to the CC2 instance other than play with it in the console. Um, so I'm just going to pause the video and wait for this instance to come up online. Okay, so that EC2 instance is now live. And if we go over to volumes under Elastic Block Store, we can see it in here and you can see that this isn't encrypted. So if we did want to encrypt this, all we need to do is go over to our actions. And what we want to do is create a snapshot of this volume. I'm going to call it my unencrypted snap. And we're going to go ahead and hit uh, create snapshot. And I'm just going to pause the video and wait for this snapshot to come uh, live. Um, so I'm just going to pause the video here. Okay, that is now live. And if we look under encryption here, we can see that it is not encrypted. We can click in here and what we can do is go over to our actions and go over to copy. And then when we're copying, we can say, hey, encrypt this snapshot. And then it'll ask us what key that we want to use. Um, so I'm just going to use my standard EBS key. And then um, in here is our description. So I might just change this to encrypted and then uh, snap. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit copy. So now we're creating a copy of our um, snapshot and we are changing it from being unencrypted to being encrypted in here. I'm just going to pause the video and wait for this to come back up online. We can see in here that that is now live and it is encrypted. The next thing we want to do is go ahead and create an image of this. I'm going to call it my encrypted, encrypted image. And we're going to go ahead and hit create. That is then going to create an encrypted AMI. And then we can use that AMI, AMI to launch um, encrypted EC2 instances. So that's how you take an unencrypted root device volume uh, and you basically create a snapshot of it. You then copy the snapshot and enable encryption. You then create a AMI from that snapshot and then you can launch that EC2 instance as an encrypted um, uh, you know, root device volume. So that could come up in the exam if they say, hey, you've already got, um, you know, you've got an unencrypted root device volume, you need to encrypt it. How do you do it? That's the process. Um, but what, it, like I said, um, it used to be that you couldn't have encrypted root device volumes. Uh, and uh, it was a very popular exam topic as to how to go and encrypt them. Now you can encrypt them just by launching an encrypted uh, root device volume. So just be aware of that going into your exam. Just going to wait for this AMI to come live now. My apologies, it already is live. So what we could do is we could go ahead and hit launch and we could go ahead and launch this as an EC2 instance uh, and you'll see that it is already encrypted uh, by default. 
if you click in here and go not encrypted, you'll see it's giving you a warning message and saying, well, it needs to be encrypted as the selected snapshot is encrypted. So you can't take a snapshot that's encrypted and then launch it as an unencrypted volume uh, either. So I'm not going to go ahead and do that. We're just going to go ahead and cancel. Feel free to go in and delete that instance as well as um, going in and deleting the snapshot and the AMI. Uh, and let's go on to my exam tips. So just remember that snapshots of encrypted volumes are encrypted automatically. So if you do take a snapshot of an encrypted volume, it's going to be encrypted automatically. Volumes restored from encrypted snapshots are encrypted automatically as well. You can share snapshots, um, but only if they are unencrypted. And these snapshots can also be shared with other AWS accounts or made public, but they have to be unencrypted. And you can now encrypt root device volumes upon the creation of an EC2 instance. If for some reason you didn't do that and you had an unencrypted root device volume, the process for making it encrypted is to create a snapshot of the unencrypted root device volume. You then need to create a copy of the snapshot and select the encrypt option. You then need to create an AMI from the encrypted snapshot and then you use that AMI to launch new encrypted instances. So that is it for this lecture everyone. If you have any questions, please let me know. If not, feel free to move on to the next lecture. Thank you.